But the Galaxy S21 Ultra, which I covered in a video last year, was one of my favorite phones I've ever used. Now, almost a year on from that video, is the S21 Ultra still a contender in 2024? Let's find out. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra boasts a design that, even three years after launch, feels contemporary and premium. It doesn't skip a beat with its sleek matte finish and robust Gorilla Glass Victor's protection, and the device still screams elegance and durability. The metal frame and the bold, sleek camera module that blends into it continue to give the S21 Ultra a distinctive and sophisticated look. The device is available in a range of colours, including this Phantom Black, Phantom Silver, Phantom Titanium, Phantom Navy and Phantom Brown, catering to a variety of aesthetic preferences. So the S21 Ultra still fits in perfectly with 2024 flagships, and if this video fits in with you, a sub to the channel would be delightful. Despite its large 6.8 inch display, the S21 Ultra's ergonomic design ensures a comfortable grip, but it's still a hefty device at 227 grams, which is heavier than the iPhone 15 Pro Max. But for users accustomed to large screen phones, the size and weight shouldn't be an issue. But for those coming from smaller devices, it might take some adjustments. The display is a dynamic AMOLED 2X display with a resolution of 3200 by 1440 pixels, offering a typical flagship visual experience. The display sports 120Hz refresh rate at full resolution, a feature that remains a standout even in 2024. The high refresh rate ensures smooth scrolling and an enhanced gaming experience, while the vivid colours and deep blacks characteristic of AMOLED technology provide stunning visuals for multimedia consumption. And with a peak brightness of 1500 nits, the S21 Ultra's display remains exceptionally bright and easy to view in direct sunlight, and this feature is particularly useful for outdoor activities and travel, ensuring that the screen is always legible regardless of lighting conditions. And with performance, this is an area where older devices often suffer with age, but you'll be happy to know that this isn't an issue with the S21 Ultra. Even with Samsung's Exynos 2100 for international markets, the S21 Ultra is still a plenty powerful device and still holds up remarkably well in 2024. Paired with up to 16 gigs of RAM, the device handles multitasking, gaming and demanding applications with ease, although the Snapdragon 888 variant will naturally offer even better performance. And while the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and Exynos 2400 will naturally give you better performance, the S21 Ultra's performance still is plenty in 2024. And one of the most well-known features of the S21 Ultra at its release was its versatile and powerful camera system. The device features a quad camera setup with a 108 megapixel main sensor, a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor, and two 10 megapixel telephoto lenses offering 3x and 10x optical zoom. This setup allows for a wide range of photographic possibilities, from ultra wide landscapes to detailed close-ups. And photos coming from the S21 Ultra remain great in 2024, with plenty of detail and dynamic range. Colours are the usual Samsung poppy colours, a look that I often prefer, and colour science is similar across all focal lengths, with the ultra-wide of course offering that flexibility, along with the telephoto options up to 100x, although I personally wouldn't push past 30x. And the S21 Ultra excels in low-light photography, thanks to its advanced sensor technology and software optimization. The night mode offers impressive results with clear, detailed images, even in challenging lighting conditions and this feature remains highly competitive with newer devices in 2024. And video can be shot up to 8K resolution at 24fps and 4K at 60fps across all lenses, a feature that still places it ahead of many current smartphones. And the director's view mode, which allows simultaneous recording from multiple cameras, continues to be a valuable tool for content creators. But here are some more photo and video samples coming from the S21 Ultra. Let me know down in the comments what you think.
And I just want to do a very quick pause in this video to let you guys know that I'll be dropping a comparison video between the S20 Ultra, S21 Ultra against the S22 Ultra to see which one of these old flagship juggernauts from Samsung is going to be a great option or the best option between the three. So subscribe so you don't miss that out. And the S21 Ultra launched with Samsung's One UI 3.1 based on Android 11. And in 2024, it runs a One UI 6.1 with Android 14 benefiting from Samsung's commitment to providing four years of major Android updates and five years of security patches. And unsurprisingly, One UI is the same intuitive software experience with enhancements that improve the overall experience, such as customizable home screens, improved multitasking, and a more streamlined settings menu. And with Samsung's update policy that still ensures that the S21 Ultra remains relevant in 2024, with regular updates that bring software improvements and security enhancements. This longevity, of course, improves the S21 Ultra's value proposition in 2024, making it still a very viable option. And the S21 Ultra is equipped with a 5,000 mAh battery, which continues to provide all-day battery life under typical usage. Even with pretty moderate use, the device can comfortably last a full day thanks to efficient power management and adaptive refresh rate technology that optimizes battery consumption. Of course, when buying a second-hand device, battery degradation is a natural occurrence, so set your expectations accordingly that you probably won't get the same endurance as you would do from a new model. And the S21 Ultra supports 25 watt wired charging, a downgrade from the 45 watts found on the S20 Ultra, but the wireless charging and reverse wireless charging remain the same at 15 watts and 4.5 watts respectively. And yeah, of course, the charging speeds have been improved in newer devices, but this is still plenty enough, I think, for most users. And the added wireless charging and reverse wireless charging make it a really nice addition for a budget old flagship device. And then, of course, you get a plethora of other additional features, including S Pen support for productivity focused users, an IP68 rating and a fast ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. And these features aren't found on all budget phones released today. So in 2024, the S21 Ultra, of course, is no longer the latest model with newer releases like the S22 Ultra, S23 and S24 Ultra. But the S21 Ultra still holds a great value proposition against newer budget devices offering a premium flagship experience without the premium price tag. Its price has dropped tremendously since its release, so much so that I picked this up for about 220 quid. And it offers, of course, all those flagship features for not a lot of money. And of course, there is competition from other brands such as Apple, Google, OnePlus for their new flagship devices. But despite this, the S21 Ultra's unique feature set, including the great cameras, really nice display, good battery life and continued software support, make this a viable option 100% in 2024. And it's still awesome for me to use now as it was last year.